Welcome back to some more Nomad from Nowhere episode two. Um, so I'm I'm excited to get back to this because like the first episode is really cool and it's really interesting, but I want to know where the story's gonna go from here. Um, I, I'm wondering about the new characters and everything. The um, oh, wait, I already pretty much already forgot their names <laughs> by mistake. I went, did I write them down somewhere? Hold on, let me look real quick if I if I uh, wrote them down. I did not. Okay, no, I did write three of the names down, yeah, so Nomad, Scout, and Toth, okay, yeah, so I really want to know more about um, that, like, flashback kind of thing with, like, Nomad and Scout, um, like, that, like, one thing where he was, like, he was kind of, like, like daydreaming in a way, like, and he saw, like, almost like a flashback of, like, when the, the, um, the house that he was living in or whatever uh, was still, like, built. And then, like, there was somebody who looked exactly like Scout there, like, at the doorway kind of thing. I really want to know more about that and everything. So uh, I'm pumped. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see where this story goes from here. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into Episode 2. So here we go. Episode 2, Bliss Hill. Another convoy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nomad from nowhere. Oh, it's okay. Same convoy, just like they're walking, going through, going back home, probably. So maybe the nomad got away, but at least we know he. Not now. <laughs> She's so mad. <laughs> Does it say the Oasis? <laughs> the Oasis, yeah. Goat. Lined up early today. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So they have to pay admittance to live there, or like just stay there for like a couple days, or or something like that. You've got to pay for that. <laughs> Jesus, it's water. Rules are rules. Captain Todd, Don Paragon awaits your report. Yeah, I understand it's called the Oasis and everything. I bet so he's gonna be happy to see us. Try to market the water and everything. <laughs> it's like nothing like the picture. Oh, you're back. I've got a leg hair plucking to Vamanos too, so let's just jump to the part where you didn't find the nomad and you're about to continue your never ending quest to yada yada yada. We found him. That was so familiar. What? We found the nomad. You found the nomad. Oh, Toth! I could just devour you, you beautiful bronze statue. So, where is he? I gotta see my magical little meal ticket. Well. He got away. <laughs> you lost the nomad. He escaped, yes. His magic was as crafty as the legend said. He might have gotten away, but I'd like to think we learned the value of teamwork. <laughs> well, except in the teamwork. part where Toss stomped off on her own there at the end and kind of left everybody back at the... What Scout means to say <laughs> is now that we've seen what he can do, we'll be better prepared for the next time. <clears throat> Traumatic, harrowing, tragic, a fiery escape, dreams up in smoke, I love it, I <laughs> hate it, Jeez. but progress is still progress, and this was definitely progress, despite your defeat. Every noble venture is bound to endure setbacks. It's like that thing I always say about myself. Back in the early days of the Oasis, when I bravely endeavored to stumble upon the only water source for miles to establish my very own highfalutin utopia. What was my most important quality? Yes, you, in the front. Uh, <laughs> persistence? Looking sharp? A modest loan with a reasonable interest rate? Being <laughs> first, which is exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to nab that magical monster before anyone else can get their grubby <coughs> little hands on him. The question is, how do we do it? I suggest regrouping immediately and... My dread Manuel... Oh, God, this guy again. Oh, 
your Red Manuel. Oh, you've got a stick, third person. I, I love it. Continue. Why, <laughs> thank you. It's nice to be appreciated for... Continue? Yeah. Yes. Apologies. <clears throat> Why worry about being first when you can pay someone else to be first for you? I'm not following here, Rojo. With yeah. your many resources <laughs> and vast influence, you could offer a reward for the nomad's capture. The Southwest has many bounty hunters. We could cover much more ground in the search for the nomad rather than putting all our huevos in one basket. A very unworthy basket. Sir, <laughs> I think Red is still dealing with a concussion from his spectacular failure on our mission. No, 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 no I like this. I'll give him money, water, a timeshare, whatever gets me the nomad before anybody else realizes how valuable he is. Rojo here has a point, Toth. And I do love huevos. <laughs> I can find him. You need to... What I need is to be certain you can do your job, Toth. Because right now, I've got more doubts than I have fancy outfits. And I have a lot of fancy outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Something that needs attending on the outskirts. Just the sort of rough and tumble <laughs> mission to get so you funny. back on track, Chica. And don't go looking for the nomad until you prove you can be useful. Understood? May the best man win. First things first, uh -huh. I want new wanted posters in every town from here to the iron border, featuring my reward. And let's make sure it's got that Don Paragon pizzazz. M Mr. Paragon? Not to be too prickly about it. His name is Paragon. Okay. The Nomad saved us all. He came back for us. I think he didn't want us to die. A moral compass. That's just splendid, Scout. That means he's got a weakness. Good thinking. <laughs> yeah. What? No, no, that's not what I meant. Yeah. I mean, uh, why we gotta catch him so bad? Because El Rey wants him, little wildflower. That's the thing about being the king. You get whatever you want. El Rey. Besides. Who are we to second guess? Do you think you know more about the dangers of magic than El Rey? Me neither. King. Okay. Now, now, <laughs> right, names down. Cheer up, Captain Toth. The wasteland is a <coughs> treacherous place that fairer folk can't brave on their own. With any luck, he won't have gotten far. The elements will have undoubtedly slowed him to a pathetic crawl. No. <laughs> He's just like just <laughs> like walking through the desert. Ooh, make that alive. That would be cool. Have like a bone dragon like thing or whatever, like helping him out. Town. <laughs> Bless hell. Hey. Oh gosh, okay. Maybe not A. <laughs> no water. Is it deserted? I'm guessing so, because there's no water there. But maybe. Maybe there's a couple people still up in there. <laughs> Dude, Jesus. Is it in the bathtub? What do you want? Yeah, you? You proselyte dancing? Trying to sling me some belly who? <laughs> the silent cell, huh? <laughs> Ain't seen that one before. Oh, there. I don't know, Martha. He won't tell me. He's crafty. <laughs> He's crafty. trickster. Tell him we don't want no more magazine subscriptions. We can't even read. You hear that, <laughs> Snake? We're poor and illiterate. Joke's <laughs> on you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're <laughs> <laughs> broke and illiterate. <laughs> That's sad. Hi, you're new around here. Name's Barty. Want to join an exciting project to help Bliss here? Barty. Great, but first you have to answer my exhaustive questionnaire. Ready? <laughs> Ever killed a man? Know your basic arithmetics? Do you believe in ghosts? Can you do a cartwheel? Nice. Hmm. Born could have been better. Hey, <laughs> I just know something. Can't you talk? A mute. That's good for diversity. Okay, <laughs> last question. And the most important. Got any food? Or water. Guess that was hoping for too much. Yeah. So, no food, no water, ain't never killed a man. What can't you do? Oh, <laughs> uh, nice. You're gonna make something come alive. <laughs> wow. 
nice. You can do bona fide magic. What other tricks you got? Just the one, huh? Well, I ain't one to I complain. I mean, that's cool. Since we got this dancing fruit. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that ain't this town in a nutshell, I don't know what is. But Jesus. You know what? I think you passed the test, stranger. Come on. Magic, huh? Who are you? Oh, God. Hmm. They're either here or at Mary Caverns. Hold up a second. Marty, why'd you bring a stranger here? Are you under duress? <laughs> He's using the secret code. What's he saying? Either he has to go to the bathroom or... <laughs> Operation Bandit! Consult the protocols! Bandit. All right. Section 14, Article C, Bandits. There are three types of bandits. The etymology of the word bandit comes from the Bakaran word bandito, which... Come on, you, Jay! My shooting arm's getting tired! There's no <laughs> protocol for that! Ow! <laughs> a victim of bureaucracy. Curse all this red tape. Oh, I'll stop I it, Eugene. Why'd you bring him here anyway, Barty? Just show them what you can do. <clears throat> Rock person. He makes baby rocks? My pappy's birds and bees talk didn't cover this at all. <laughs> no, you don't. He brings things to life with magic. You know what that means? Stranger, it's time I told you the purpose of this outfit. We're the, the Mill Mill Preservation, Preservation Society. Society. All them long-legged grown-ups forgot about the mill when the water stopped flowing. But we're the future of this here town, and we're gonna do whatever we can to get that mill turning again. To All help right. with the grown-up establishment, our livelihoods depend on it. We ain't hooligans, we're hooligans. <laughs> and we're gonna fix Bliss Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you're with us? Here they are, Sheriff. Hold it right there, Long Legs. Barty, <laughs> long somehow legs. I knew I'd find out you were the reason for these dunderheads complaining. Looks like my fool boy led you lot on a goose chase. Ain't no magic here. That's only gonna bring us more problems. But, Paul, he is doing magic, and it ain't bad. <laughs> Stranger, I'm only gonna say this once. Take your dark magic and get out of here. He ain't a stranger. Oh, he's my friend. His magic can help the whole town. In fact, he's gonna bring back the old mill. Why he like make the you mill the come alive? alive? I know you can do it. Bliss Hill needs you. Uh, the wheel. Barty, get away from him. Just let him try. It could change everything. I don't care what anybody says about magic. Oh, gosh. All right, Barty. Time to run along. <laughs> nice. Hey. It's working. I knew he could do the it. The eyes are huge. I knew you had a few screws loose, Barty, but this is bad medicine. We can't have the mill acting on its own like this. It'll bring the wrong sorts to Bliss Hill. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. So they don't listen to him. Okay. Oh crap! You broke it. You're lucky I don't string you up right where you stand. Get out of here! Don't never come back. Jeez. Yeah, so he can't control his creations. Who's this? The heck? <laughs> Don't see that every day. That voice. Oh, he's a bounty hunter. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Wait, who is? Okay, I, I always forget who's who writes this show. Created by Gordon. I think I tell you about it. Women. Um. Developed by Miles, Jordan, and Eddie. Okay. 
Okay, producer, producer. Written by Eddie. Okay. Oh, there's all the names. <laughs> Range hand. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Lead animator, series animator, editor, audio script, audio intern, <laughs> critical, technical producer, music, card engineer. There's <laughs> a lot of people on this. That's cool. I like the music too. Music's really, really good. All right, just waiting for the end here. That's the end. Okay. Um, very, very interesting. So yeah, the things we learned is he can't control the things that he creates, um, and uh, adults see it as like black magic or you know whatever. Like it's it's dark magic, um, even though in reality it's not. It's just normal magic. Um, but it's the it, He's a creating, uh, the nomad is creating like entities, right? It's, it's, he's creating, um, effectively life, uh, in objects. I, I'm, I'm still wondering if it's temporary. Um, I don't know if it's like forever kind of thing. Like once he makes like an object can come to life, I'm wondering if it's forever alive or if it just, it's, it's like for a couple of days or a couple hours or minutes or you know whatever um until they kind of revert, revert back to their normal state um but uh yeah it, it's 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 a cool show it's definitely a cool show and, and they've got me interested for sure um they had really a lot of really cool voice actors um let me jump back to the credits because i want to see the names again of the of these characters um okay so scout toth um <laughs> Red Man Manuel, um, yeah, he's the. I'm gonna write his name down because I always forget. Okay, so I'm gonna actually uh, t small town, small town folk. Um, <laughs> um, Peter kid. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna write these names down by, by myself, but um, I just wanna like get these names and everything so that way I can have them. Um, but the names that I really wanted to figure out, I think this next, yeah, Barbara, Bar Barbara was Dolores. <laughs> That's a great name. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Punk teen. <laughs> Who's the punk teen? Oh, he, boy, he was punk teen. Eugene. I think Eugene's a smart guy, a smart kid. Um, so that means the punk teen was the one who, who tattled on, uh, on Nomad. Okay. Old man, old woman, soldier, guard, ranch hand. Was there one more? No. Okay. So I guess they're leaving that guy's name for later then. Um, I was trying to, I was trying to see, uh, the voice of the, um, of the, uh, bounty hunter. Um, I, I really wanted to know, uh, his name, because it sounds so freaking familiar. It was like, it's either, um, uh, I, I think it's, it's either Crow's voice actor or it's, um, Gildarts from Fairy Tale. Um, those are the two, the two voices that pop into my head when I hear his, his voice. So I just want to hear his voice one more time. Don't see that every day. Yes. Okay. It is Gildart. <laughs> um, so that is awesome. I love how they're getting uh, very like popular uh, voice actors come come in because they've they've done that in other shows. They've done that in um in Ruby um, with tons of characters like fantastic voice actors coming in to help out and everything. And they've got this one uh, nailed down fairly fully. And, and the voice matches like one to one. <laughs> Um, so that's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so they get a lot of really cool voice actors because they're in the business and everything. And the more Richard Heath grows, the more like popularity and everything, um, or rumors or, you know, whatever, get out to the other voice actors and they want to join in kind of on the, on the fun and everything. Because uh, from what I've heard, like everything, uh, involving the voice actors and everything 
are always like really fun and, and like cuz cuz the the writers and the producers and everything are right there in the booth talking to you while you're doing the voices for the characters um so you have that like that uh, connection to the to like directly to the show and everything so that you can see what they want and um everything so yeah i can't wait for more um so there you have it uh i will see you guys back here next week for some more nomad from nowhere um so yeah let me let me let me know down below what you guys um like about the show uh favorite character I like so, so far. I think so far right, right now mine's still the nomad, but I'm really liking this guy. But we don't know him too well, but just like the voice in general just got like, clued me in. I like I really like him a lot. Um but either I, I yeah, I either like Scout or Nomad. Those like my my two uh, my two favorite. Um Paragon was pretty interesting. The the one guy who runs Oasis. Um he was pretty fun. Um but uh yeah, I I think it's it's definitely a tie between Scout and Nomad as as my like my my top favorite um but what are you guys' favorites and everything um and i will i will see you next year back here next week uh, for some mo more nomad from nowhere take care everybody